Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of limits. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us that limit of x tends to 2 and the further expression given to us is summation of n equals to 1 to 9. The expression given to us is x over n into n plus 1 x square plus 2 times 2n plus 1 into x plus 4. So this is the entire expression given to us and we have been told what is that equal to. So if I figure out the answer choices that are given to us here is 9 over 44, second option 5 over 24, third option 1 over 5 and the last option given to us here is 7 over 6. So I need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. Let's do that. Let's try to solve this expression. So if I write that limit x tends to 2 summation of n equals to 1 to 9 and the expression given to us here is x over n into n plus 1 x square plus 2 times 2n plus 1 into x plus 4 right so that is the whole expression given to us here now if i try to apply the limits first and then take the summation i'll take the summation out and i'll apply the limit inside so limit of x tends to 2 x over this entire expression if i write it and then if i apply the limit also for this question i get summation of n equals to 1 to 9 and if i put the value of x equals to 2 here applying the limits so if i apply the limits i get 2 over n into n plus 1 into 2 square that is 4 plus 2 2n plus 1 into x which is again 2 plus 4 so you get this entire thing now further if i try to solve this i get summation of n equals to 1 to 9 and the expression given to us here is 2 over n into n plus 1 into 4 so that gives you n square plus n with 4 further this if i try to solve it it gives you 4 and you get that as 2n plus 1 and the last part is 4 again so you get summation of n equals to 1 to 9 2 over this becomes 4 common. You get n square plus n plus 2n plus 1 plus 1. So you get that further as summation of n equals to 1 to 9. 2 over 4 n square plus 3n plus 2. So you get that entire thing. Now further if I try to cancel some of the parts. I can cancel 2 once and 2 2 times. So you get here summation of n equals to 1 to 9 1 over 2 and you get n square plus 3n plus 2 so if i try to solve it using factorization i can write that as 2n plus n splitting the middle term so once i split the middle term i get that as summation of n equals to 1 to 9 1 over 2 in the first two terms if i take n common you are left with n plus 2 plus 1 n plus 2 so you get this entire thing now further if i try to solve it i get summation of n equals to 1 to 9 and you get 1 over 2 and the other two terms are n plus 2 into n plus 1 so you get that entire thing here further if i try to solve this let's take 1 over 2 out so what you are left with here is 1 over 2 summation of n equals to 1 to 9 and this becomes 1 over n plus 2 into n plus 1 now the numerator which is there this one if i try to frame it in the form of this brackets in the denominator i can write that as n plus 2 
minus n plus 1. So, because if you see, if I solve this n and n gets cancelled, you are left with 2 minus 1, which is in the numerator, that is 1. So, you get this, that half summation of n equals to 1 to n, you get this entire thing as n plus 2 minus n plus 1, the whole thing over n plus 2 into n plus 1. So, if I split the denominator, you get half summation of n equals to 1 to 9, you get n plus 2 over n plus 2 into n plus 1 minus n plus 1 over n plus 2 into n plus 1. So if I try to cancel the terms here, n plus 2 gets cancelled, n plus 1 gets cancelled and you are left with half summation of n equals to 1 to 9. 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 2. So if I put n equals to 1 to 9 here, let's see what I get the terms as. So if I put n equals to 1, I will get this entire term to turn out 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. Then if I put n equals to 2, I get that as 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4. Then you will get that as 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5. So when I write these three terms, now I understand that what is happening is there is a pattern of terms. So for the first term, the second part is equal to the next term's first part. And this is negative, this is positive. So it is going to cancel out. So this term is cancelled, this term is cancelled. So every such term is going to cancel out apart from the last term. So let's just write the last term now. For 9, it would become 1 by 10 minus 1 by 11. So only the second part of the last term won't get cancelled. Everything other than that in between also gets cancelled. So you are just left with two terms. That is 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 11. So if I solve that further, you get half. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 11. So you get this as half 11 minus 2, which is 9, over 2 into 11, which is 20. So you get that as 9 by 44. And if you see the answer that matches here with the question, so the answer for the question becomes option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the idea of applying the limits of the question as well as using the summation part. So first we applied the limit, that is we put x as 2 everywhere. Then we further solved that out and put the summation idea. So once we simplified that entire expression, we got that entire expression simplified like this in the terms of 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 2. Then I just substituted n equals 1 to 9 everywhere. So I get all the terms cancelled apart from the first part of the first term and the second part of the last term. So you get 1 by 2 minus 1 by 11, which I further solved out to become 9 by 22. And 9 over 22 and multiplied with half gives you 9 over 44. So that matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th, 12th as well as GWS. So if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day by solving one question each day, please do like the videos that you are seeing. Also, do subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of questions on GWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.